What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to build your very own PvP battle minigame and you're roughly going to need a 25 by 25 area to work with, uh, preferably flat, and here's the materials you'll need. Now this minigame will be built in creative and then played on survival. You guys can also customize this however you would like. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to build it and just follow along as I build and you know you'll have an amazing epic mini game to impress all of your friends uh, the potion of swiftness is optional I just use it just because it makes you uh, build faster and anyway build exactly as I do and this will be super simple um, and basically we're just going to be building a circle and inside the circle is going to be the arena itself and every side should be completely equal to the other side so make sure you keep that in mind and uh, just follow along exactly like I do and you'll have no problem at all Alright, and once you have the same exact circle as I do uh, built, you're going to build your walls up 5 blocks in height, and each side will literally just like build exactly up like I do, and it's pretty self-explanatory, and you're going to do this all the way around, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this part of the video so you don't have to watch me build every side up, and here we go, so it's literally 5 blocks up high, and all the way around, so once you have this, we're going to go ahead and start the next step. And right here is where the team door is going to be, so this is going to be red team, and over here will be blue team. And you guys can, you know, customize that, make it as cool as you want. I'm just going to go pretty basic with it. Um, but the next step is going to be uh, smoothing out these edges. So now we're going to do this all the way around. And you want to make sure you just smooth out the corners, because we're eventually going to be putting fence on top of this and we want the fence to go completely around the circle so once you have it exactly like I have it you're gonna go ahead and put your fence on top and you could use any type of fence it doesn't have to be spruce fence alright and once you have finished this step with the fence you're gonna go ahead and pull out your oak planks or whatever block you want and we're gonna be extending out the uh, spectator floor so Go ahead and build out, like just kind of like build along the stone, and like this is going to be where the spectators will stand and cheer the battle. Alright, and once you have built the spectator floor, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be building the room where all the teams uh, equip all their armor on and prepare for the battle. And what you're going to want is a 3x3 inside, and you're just going to build straight up it around the 3x3 inside with uh, stone bricks or whatever you want. And just basically do as I do, and you're just going to build straight up to the spectator floor. And here's the inside of the 3x3 inside, and just like the red side, we're going to do the same exact thing over here to the blue side. So just build that wall, make sure you have the 3x3 inside, and build straight up to the spectator floor. And once you're finished building the rooms where the teams will uh, be inside, uh, we're going to start the next step, which is going to be building the like outside like wall. And basically, you just want to grab another type of block and build just like directly down from the spectator floor. And I'm going to fast forward this part, but basically just make it look exactly like I have it, and you'll be good. And 
now we're only going to have a few more steps and we're completely finished. So now we're going to start the next step and right now we're just going to be adding the stairs so you know the spectators can come up and watch the battle. So place these stairs exactly where I have them and each staircase should be uh, directly across from each other or like straight across and once you have the stairs exactly where I have them uh, you can you can really do this any way you want. Just make sure the staircase uh, reaches the bottom of the ground. And once you have one side of the staircase finished, make sure you copy it to all of the other sides. Once you have every staircase built on every side of the arena, uh, we can move on to the next step. So make sure you have everything exactly like I have it right now. And the next step is going to be really easy. We're just going to be making the uh, entryway into one of the team's bases. And right now we're just going to pop out a block in the middle and go ahead and grab an iron uh, trap door. And you're just going to go ahead and put it right here. And then you're going to go ahead and make sure you put the same color as the, the team's base. And then you're just going to go ahead and put that wooden button right there so they can drop down into their base and gear up and prepare for battle. And just like the red side, we're going to do the exact same thing over here to the blue side. Okay guys, and now we'll be moving on to the final step of building your minigame. So right now you're going to go ahead and take the chest and go ahead and place that down. And now you're going to place the armor, uh, whatever weapons you want them to have, just like anything you want uh, the players to have when they battle each other. It could be anything you want. You could put like potions in there, just like, you know, mix it up however you want it. Although whatever is in the chest should be the exact same on each side, so no team has an advantage over the other. So once everything is in the chest, uh, you're going to go ahead and just like put the iron door here and put the pressure plate and you are done. Oh wait, no, never mind. We have to do it over to the blue side too. Okay. So once you have everything done on both sides, we got to do it over here. And now we are finished. We are ready to let people join and play in our mini game. And this is a PvP battle arena. One thing to remember is when you play the game mode, make sure it's in survival and you have auto save off. I hope this video has helped you build your battle arena minigame, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you want to see another video like this, doing a brand new minigame like Sky Wars or Hunger Games or anything, let me know in the comments below, and thank you for watching.